just to ask, because I have to, no Star Wars updates. We're still just waiting for news, but you're ready. You're waiting when the script comes, the script comes, essentially. We're waiting for imminent news, I would say. Uh, I might have already seen something. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, there might be a date of, of when we're, yep, yeah, the next stages. Okay, we like that. Progress, we like that. The price is wrong, bitch. Daisy Ridley said that one day prior to lead writer Stephen Knight leaving the Ray movie project. Now, if that doesn't prove to you that Disney Lucasfilm is in complete disarray, you may need to seek mental help. Yeah, you got mental problems, man. Yeah, it really does. So for today's video, we have some Ray lovers, most of which unsurprisingly are male, who really want this Ray movie to happen, and they are coping hard after the Stephen Knight news a few days ago. Do you want to rush something so important? The Ray movie, we've talked about its significance and its importance moving past the sequel trilogy and fixing the sequel trilogy, whether you believe that it deserves fixing or, or needs fixing. There are no magical fixes. That's why I want someone new, not Ryan Johnson and not J.J. Abrams. Give this character a fresh perspective. Daisy deserves it. Shut up, Meg. Uh, first off, I do want to see uh, this Ray movie eventually get made. But despite my disliking of episodes eight and nine, I do love Daisy Ridley's Ray character. And I was excited to see her rebuild the Jedi Order because that's something that I've wanted to see happen since Return of the Jedi. Yeah, if that's true, and let's be honest, it probably isn't, but if that's true, then I would advise you to go and read the Expanded Universe. Plenty of stuff on Luke and the Jedi post-Episode 6 in the Expanded Universe. There's even a Jedi Academy trilogy. Sounds exactly like what you're looking for, doesn't it? Rebuild the Jedi Order because that's something that I've wanted to see happen since Return of the Jedi. There is also the Jedi Knight Jedi Academy video games, if that's more your preference. But oh wait, that's right. You and your pals love and want more Disney Star Wars. I want more Poe Dameron stories. I want more mm. Finn stories. I want more Rose, even though she was in episode eight. I think she that character deserves better. I think that actress deserves better. You are one pathetic loser. And I want more Ray stories, and I want more BB-8 adventures. And uh, try to lose some weight, for God's sake. Yes, sir! Why can't this movie be a masterpiece? Why can't the Ray movie be a masterpiece? Well, how much time you got? A, she's a Mary Sue. B, Disney Star Wars had three movies to try and get her over with the fans. They failed. Not only that, she got worse as the trilogy went along. C, nobody likes her. D, Disney Lucasfilm stole the victory over Palpatine away from Luke and his father, which solidified Anakin Skywalker's redemption, and they gave it to Rey in The Rise of Skywalker. I could go on for hours. Feel free to add to my list down below in the comments section. So just because you don't like the sequel trilogy, you don't like the character of Rey, doesn't mean the Rey movie can't be incredible. <laughs> can't be something that would be absolutely as good as sliced bread as the original trilogy. I'm not saying it will be better than the original trilogy. I'm hoping that it is. <laughs> I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to say that I do not take these people out of context. I do not manipulate or change around what they say to fit my narrative. They actually say this shit. And the reason they say it is in the hopes that Disney Lucasfilm notices them saying it and rewards them for it. And it needs to be called out. Hit the thumbs up button for the video down below if you agree. Do it. So we all know, right, when there's bad news for the Disney Star Wars shills, they don't get what they want, or their favorite show gets canceled, they need someone to blame, right? They're not going to blame Disney Lucasfilm. They're not going to blame Dave Filoni or Kathleen Kennedy. They're going to blame the fans. They're going to blame content creators they hate. They're going to blame you and I. Star Wars fans are a problem. Damn right we are. Star Wars gets fans going absolutely batshit insane. I mean, Star Wars fans are on a whole nother level of toxicity. Wait a minute, did he just say toxicity? Toxicity, toxicity, toxicity. You're a stupid dumbass. Look, let's not sit here and pretend like those grifters you can find here on YouTube are right about their stupid little woke critiques of Star Wars. Put a kick in it, make her gay. No! That was terrible. 
terrible. Yeah, leave the edits to me, man. It's a lot funnier when I do it. Big scary girls and the occasional gay person being in Star Wars is not the problem. Uh, nobody has ever said that that is the problem. As usual, you have no proof of this. The problem is, and Chris Gore said it perfectly, turning Marvel and Star Wars into girl brands, aka pushing the forces female agenda, will prove to be one of the most costliest decisions in entertainment history. That is correct. And whether you like it or hate it is immaterial. You can hate Last Jedi all you want, but the vehemence with which a portion of the fan base went after it, caused Disney and Lucasfilm to freak out so hard that they made an entire movie that was an apology tour that was a garbage movie. Wow, so again, it's the fans' fault because they didn't like The Last Jedi, and that's why we got The Rise of Skywalker, the horrendous Rise of Skywalker. It's not Disney Lucasfilm's fault for making two bad movies, it's the fans' fault for not liking the first one. I'm often painted as, and as are you two, uh, we're painted as these, you know, oh, we'll, we'll defend anything Star Wars, but that, that's really not true. I, I don't like episode eight or nine. Yeah. I, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> and yet you still get angry when we criticize something that you yourself don't like because you can't be seen agreeing with the toxic grifters, right? When you criticize something, it's legitimate. When we criticize something, it's not. Even if it's the same thing, because we are all ists and phobes, right? And one of my legitimate critiques that you'll often hear coming from the, the more toxic side of fandom is they have a problem with Kathleen Kennedy. Mm. They have a problem with her because she's a her. <laughs> I have a problem because I just don't think she's doing the job well. <laughs> Show me one tweet, one clip of a content creator saying that Kathleen Kennedy sucks because she's a woman. Can't do it, can you? Because nobody is saying that. Yes, you are correct. She is doing a horrible job. She went into the sequel trilogy with no plan whatsoever. She is constantly announcing projects that never see the light of day. She's unjustifiably fired people. And yes, she's tried to turn Star Wars into a girl brand, which has been a complete failure. You can't deny that. And it's not sexist or misogynist to point that out. Keep in mind that I, myself, and others are constantly ripping on Dave Filoni, John Favreau, Bob Iger, Ryan Johnson, J.J. Abrams, Mark Hamill, Ewan McGregor, all white men. Our criticisms have nothing to do with what's between someone's legs, no matter how bad it probably stanks down there. The significance of this Ray movie is so huge. It has to be a success. Has to be. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. The Marvels, The Acolyte, The Ray Movie. Same agenda, same result. Thanks for checking out today's video, guys. Please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel before you get out of here. And most importantly, as always, thank you all for watching.